Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I invite you to plan with me for the month of June. I create some planner stickers and plan out a magical month. I'm using warm sunny colors for the month of June and the arrival of Litha. Let's do some magical crafting. Thank you for joining me as I plan for June. If you enjoy my plan with me or art content, kindly leave a like on this video. To create my planner stickers, I started by creating a full sheet of orange, yellow, and red watercolor. I'll scan this into Photoshop and block out the shapes that I want for my planner. I scanned in the watercolor, color corrected it, and created a sticker sheet of rectangles, squares, and other shapes. The second sheet I created is a full page of doodle stickers. I designed each doodle to fit inside a one inch circle. This way the finished stickers will be easy to cut out with a one inch circle punch. They're also easy to cut out as square shapes if you don't have a circle punch. During the next portion of this video, I ink, outline, and paint these stickers. If you'd like to skip to the completed sticker set and planner portion, I put a timestamp below. I start with pencil sketches and then go over them with a waterproof pen. And later, I finish the stickers with watercolor paint and this time I'll be using yellow, orange, and red watercolors as the most prominent color to match my theme. I'm making a variety of stickers, focusing on domestic tasks as well as kitchen witchery, cleaning, and organizing. I need a lot of stickers that relate to filming and videos for planning the videos on my channel. Of course, you could use these for planning a movie night or watching shows and scheduling Skype or Zoom calls with friends or for business. I hope my sketches give you some ideas for creating your own stickers or doodles as you set up your own planner for the month. And here are the completed sticker sheets. They've been scanned in, cleaned up, and color corrected, and then printed out on label sheets. If you'd like to download a PDF of these planner stickers, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. 
my patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. The first step is to write the day and date on all of the colorful strips. I'm also filling in a panel with the moon phases for the month and creating several headers. I'm also going to use the squares at the bottom that are sized to fit a happy planner to make a tarot spread for the month ahead. I am labeling each card with the five areas I'm drawing cards for. Home, business, friends and family, health, and spirit. I trimmed out all of the elements and punched out all of the circle stickers. I'll leave a link to all the materials I used in this video below. Okay, let's get into the planner and my June pages. This is my new weekly planner. Isn't it pretty? It's 210 pages and letter sized 8.5 by 11 inches with a matte cover. And when I say it's my planner, I mean that I designed it. It's one of the books I've developed in a series of magical crafting workbooks, planners, and grimoires. I'll leave a link to the planner below, as well as a link to the series. At the beginning of the month, I put a month header. I'm adding the panel with the moon phases. I'm planning to observe a full moon and a new moon ritual this month. Those two rituals and the celebration of Litha at the end of the month will be all of the ritual observances and celebrations that I have planned for June. This month has a particular focus on friends and family and vacation and leisure over ritual and magic. A big part of planning my month is scheduling all of the videos for this channel. So that's one of the main focuses on my first page. I list out every video I have planned for the month. I'm planning several protection magic videos and several projects relating to the summer solstice and litha. So far this year, my upload schedule for this channel has been three videos a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm sticking to that schedule in June, but sometimes the days may get wonky and I may miss a few because I'm traveling a lot. If I miss an upload day, I'll just move the video idea to another time in the calendar. The next section is all about my Patreon rewards because it's really important to me to make sure that I'm providing value to my patrons. I try for between two and four rewards uploaded every month. In June, I've planned four printable rewards, Summer Solstice Journaling Prompts, a Book of Shadows page, a Litha greeting card, and July Planner stickers. I'll also be mailing out pen pal cards for Litha with special sigils inside. This planner has a full page at the beginning of each month for a vision board or artwork or journaling. This month I've decided to use this space for a single month ahead tarot draw. In the comments of last month's Plan With Me video, many of you said you were interested in learning how I do a month ahead tarot spread. This month I'll pull five cards for the month ahead. The first one is relating to home, which also includes my relationship. The second card is for business, which includes this magical crafting channel. The third card is for friends and family, which refers to very specific and special people in my life, not just acquaintances. These friends are my chosen family. These are the people I'd take a bullet for or bury a body with. The fourth card is for health, which includes medical health, mental health, fitness and diet. And the fifth card is spirit, which refers to all of my magical workings, rituals, 
celebrations, and any work with spirit or deity. I leave spaces under each card to write out my impressions for each. Sometimes I'll also pull an oracle card for each tarot card to clarify or expand on the message if I feel like I need more information. My weekly pages are arranged with Monday through Wednesday across the top of both pages and Thursday through Sunday across the bottom of the pages. The empty panel at the beginning of each week can be used for notes and priority lists. I've decided to use double stick tape to add a beautiful picture of a sunflower in those spaces instead this month. First I go through my week pages adding all of the day header stickers and I'm blocking off the tops or sides of each page with a strip of washi tape with beautiful sunflowers or tulips or butterflies. I start by placing all of the moon phase stickers for the month. Next, I place all of the stickers to represent the videos I have planned. This planner is mostly for the Magical Crafting Channel, so all of my filming, writing, recording, and editing are added here. I'm using the laptop sticker for editing and the camera sticker for filming. I also put all of my Etsy shop listings represented by a shopping bag. And any client work is the crossed pencil and paintbrush. Since this is June, I'm setting aside a day for celebrating the summer solstice and Litha. I'll be celebrating a day early as I'm going out of town on the 21st, a short road trip to Vegas. Now that both my mother and I are fully vaccinated, I wanted to celebrate with a mother-daughter trip. Las Vegas is the perfect destination as it's equidistant from both of our homes. I'll be meeting her there for three nights and four days of fun. I haven't been to Las Vegas in years, so if you have any suggestions for fun activities in the city, please let me know in the comments below. I'm also planning to spend two days of vacation with my sister and niece, and another quick trip to Colorado to visit a friend. This month my focus is on friends and family and vacation and leisure. Now it's time to go through each day and fill in each item that needs to get done. I'm using an erasable pen to fill in my daily tasks. I love these pens because I can correct any mistakes. One of the other things I'm planning in the month of June is the design and development of several additional books that I'll be self-publishing in the Magical Crafting book section on Amazon. I'm excited to be creating some journals and notebooks and workbooks to complement the content on my channel. Essentially, I'm creating a series of journals, notebooks, and workbooks and grimoires that I wish I could find, but I've not been able to. Each book sticker represents a book design task in my calendar. I've said this in my past Plan With Me videos, but I believe it bears repeating. Because I share my actual monthly plans in my videos instead of blank setups, I get a lot of questions about how I'm able to do so much every month. I agree that the schedule you see here showing tasks for seven days a week, it's a brutal one. I get most of my work done with a lot of coffee and a very supportive partner. But I also have to remind myself to practice self-care and take vacation days and enjoy leisure time as well. I finally added in some days with no tasks other than to have fun with family. It's a slow process of deceleration and letting projects go, but I'm getting to a place of balancing intense work with complete leisure. One way I stay on track is to limit each day to three main tasks. I don't allow myself to pack each day with a dozen little to-dos. I pick the three top priorities and focus only on those. A second way I stay on track is by doing an insane amount of planning to make sure everything does not go off the rails. I also lean on repurposing content ideas such as filming a plan with me video every month. 
This makes coming up with content ideas much quicker and easier. Another way I stay on track is by being flexible. If I miss an upload or a video is late, I have to be willing to let it go or at least reschedule it. As a one-person business, I know that I can only do so much in a day or a week before my home life or my health begins to suffer. And to be completely honest, I absolutely do not do all the things that are on my planner every month. What you see here is purely aspirational. My upload schedule for videos is a guideline, not a rule. If you look at an old plan with me video and then review the list of videos that I'm supposed to do for a month and compare that list with the videos I actually uploaded, you're sure to find a few changes or videos missing altogether. Just like everyone else in life, I just do the very best that I can. And with that, it's time for the final flip through for the month. I hope this video provides some inspiration for your own planning endeavors. If you enjoy my plan with me or artwork content, kindly leave a like on this video. Each one of these videos helps me evolve my stickers and my layouts. So if you have any suggestions for me to improve my next plan with me video, please let me know in the comments.